hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing miss you guys a lot so today we're going to make a stylish corset top and a circle skirt that has a flare underneath okay so i'm going to be showing you guys step by step how i'm I made and I achieved the final outlook of it. This is how it looks as you can see. So stay tuned, like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel, guys. If this is your first time here visiting my visiting my channel, welcome and don't let this be your last. And if you have always been here supporting my channel, thank you so much. As you can see, guys, I don't know if you can remember this pattern that I made. No, I you know I made a corset bed in one of my previous videos. Mm? So now I'm going to be using that pattern that I use in cutting out that corset bed to cut out another corset top but this one is kind of um complicated in a way but since i don't want to start doing the measurement over again i have a pattern already and this particular person has same size with me just an inch difference so i choose to use the pattern that i have before so the only thing i'm going to be doing now is to be putting more, more allowance or whatever to it like the bust i'm going to be adding one extra inch and also for the waist okay and i'm going to be cutting i'll just watch me as i do it now I want to measure, I waist is 6.5, okay, for the waist we are good to go, why for the bust, our bust is 9.2, here, so let me add one inch to, this is where our bust is, our bust is bigger than mine, so now I'm going to be connecting the lines together like this, we're extending this line, downwards i don't want the corset to be short i want it a little bit long so let's add like let's add two inch to it two inch. So from here to here one inch as you can see one inch from here to here that's for our zip allowance so what i did was i placed the front piece to the back i used this arm o point to get the length okay after marking here to get the length i removed it and i drew a straight line so now i'm going to be taking the measurement for the bust and for the waist with our one inch that allowance I'm still going to be cutting two pieces for the front and two pieces for the back. So what I did after uh, measure, after measuring your one inch upwards for the um, down part of the top, you're going to be slanting the line like I did, and you're going to be cutting it out. That's just really going to avoid our bulging. Next thing I'm going to be doing now is to fold our fabric into four. What I'm going to be doing now to get the right measurement for this circle skirt. You are going to measure your waist. Divide the waist allowance. Add two inches to it. Okay. So after adding two inches, you're going to be dividing that particular number you have by eight. Divide it by eight. Whatever you have, that's what you are going to be placing on this sharp part of the fabric. Like you see, the fabric is like a triangle now on the floor. As you see, we have a sharp part. Okay. Like this point, this pointy area. Now that's what we're going to place in our tape to measure down to get the measurement that you have from the measurement that you have from dividing your waist by eight that was going to be having there after that you place your tape on that measurement that you have and measure down the length of your skirt i'm going to be attaching the gathers underneath this circle skirt so what i did i only measured I only, my measurement that i took for this is from my waist to my hip my waist to my hip is nine i added one inches that's ten that's what i'm having but if you know you're not attaching a, a flare to it you can just take your full length measurement like wherever you want the length of the skirt to be 
So after measuring the length of the skirt around this, the way I'm doing mine, I'm going to cut it out, okay? I'm going to cut it out now. So to get the length of our flare that we're going to be using for the gathers underneath the skirt is we're going to be measuring that full circle like the edge parts of the circle not the waist parts the ending part of the circle the skirt measure it around whatever measurement you have for measuring that circle round you times it by three so that's going to give you the length you're going to be having if okay guys now we're moving on to the corset top like as you can see, I, I measured out um as you can see I measured out another fabric and the wideness I took for this was 10 for the wideness and for the length I measured 36. But if you know your bust is on the bigger size, you can make the wideness to be 20, to be 30, to be 15, to be 16. The reason why I'm saying all this is because at the end of the day, you are going to be making the gathers. But if you want your gathers to be very full at the bust, if, you're, if you want your gathers to be very full at the bust, you add more inches to have more gathers at the bust. But since my client's bust is not that big and she doesn't want too much gathers, too much gathers at the bust area, I made it 10 inches instead of 15 or 20 or 30. So she wants it very, very, she wants it on a moderate size. But if you know you have a very big bust, please add enough inches, that's enough allowance. So after gathering together, you know you have enough room to cover up your full bust, except you want your bust to be revealing. Just wash me closely. I'm pinning it. I started from the armhole area and I pinned it to the bust point. I did not finish up this pinning to the beginning of the middle point of your corset. Like I gave like one inch after and I stopped it there. So after this, after pinning it, what I did was I'm going to be folding the edges like you see me do. So for this trap we're fixing now to cover up the rough edges, just fold in, fold the both edges and just pipe it in and run it neatly why folding the boot edges the rough edges at the both side why folding it okay so if you want your boss not, be, not to be too revealing i advise you to okay just measure like what you have to do now just measure downwards from your collarbone two inches after measuring downwards from your collarbone two inches then you place the tape under your bust and measure upwards to make that two inches that you stop at your, at your collarbone okay that's going to give you the right measurements to know where to stop your piping and to also know where to start your strap from Okay, you go upwards to the beginning of your strap and fold it right side facing right side and you stitch it down to meet the point that you stopped your piping at the boat edge. Just wash me closely. After doing that, you flip it over to the right side. Side of flipping it over, you'll be having a very neat cup. After that, we are going to be fixing our lining. Like I said, we are going to be having two pieces for the front and four pieces for the back. We're going to be using the second piece for the lining. So I will be placing it just where I'm doing. You're not going to be covering at the both sides. Both sides also are going to be using to turn out the fabric to the right side so you stitch the cup, cup way you stitch the end part of our top and leave the both side open
like we did for my previous video on that corset belt that corset belt that we made we know we actually put a bony at the um, boobs under bust area to help hold the boobs if you know you want to use a bra bone you can use a bra bone to hold that but if you know you don't have you can use the unsuitable bony so what i always do i just take my lighter just burn the both edge a little so the both sharp parts on this bony wouldn't be there so just burn it down and place and place it through next thing to do is take my bony that part the both side that we didn't cover up we're going to place it we're going to place the bony through that part to fix the bony like sew the bony to hold it down it's difficult sewing really i won't lie difficult it's really difficult sewing but you just need to apply pressure to hold it down to be able to get that perfect finishing as you can see i think one of my bony that i fixed one is really shapey than the other one you get i haven't found a new technique that i can be using now to fix it but it needs too much strength okay but just try your possible best i advise you to use your pin to hold it down first before running through this same thing that i did on my this same thing that i did in my previous video you can actually visit how i made that corset belt to know how i was able to achieve this underbust front we are done for the front i want to work on the back now so the back what you're going to be doing now you know i told you i'm going to be cutting two pieces two piece each for the back so we are going to be sewing our darts for the both piece for the both piece of the back for fixing your lining for these two back piece what we're going to be doing to be working on the front now you know the front has that cross place the to fabric crossing each other after crossing it just use your pin to hold it down because later you're going to be tops later you're going to be stitching it with your thread and you need it to help hold it firm but what you're going to be doing now just use your pin to hold it to hold the crossing down first okay we're going to be fixing these two edges of that strap we're going to be fixing at the back piece So guys, after fixing the back strap to the um, to the back piece, you flip it over. That is the right side facing the right side, the right side of the back and the right side of the front facing each other. After that, don't forget that we left allowance for our zip. We left. Don't forget that we left zipper allowance. So what you're going to be doing now is to be measuring out your zipper allowance from the back and hold it down with your pin. After holding it down, you're going to be getting your right measurement to hold the both sides together your boobs as your your bust and also your waist you hold it down together after holding it down you fix your zip and after fixing your zip you are done for this top moving on to the skirt part of this piece this is quite simple like this is very simple to sew if you want a normal bank go for two inches wide. so now i'm going for two inches wide so i measured four to fold in to get two so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing the fabric, the um, front facing the back. After stitching, I fold it outward and top stitch it. Guys, this is the um, <coughs> fabric I cut out for the gathers. Then I told you that I'm going to be cutting out the full length of the circle, the damp part of the circle times three to give me that very long piece. So when I gather it together, it will be enough for me to to go around the circle because the circle is quite wide. So this is how long it is. So at the edge part of it, I'm going to be sewing a very loose stitch at the end, so I can use that to gather the fabric together. So after cut, after losing that, um, after sewing that loose stitch, I'm going to be folding the down parts of this fabric, like the damp part. I'm going to be piping it to have a very neat edge. All right.
So guys, this is the circle that I've made it to the um, slashed point. Okay, so the next thing we are going to be doing is to be adding our gathers, as you can see. These gathers that I've made, it's very long though. So we're going to be starting it from, from here. So you place one side here to this side. Okay guys, I'm done joining the gathers as you can see. This is how it looks, that's the waist. This is the opening at the side. I'm going to fix my zip here. Here, this part. So this part can either be on your side, right or left or at the back. Whatever part you feel like putting it. Because it's only one opening that we have. One slit opening that we have. So this is how it is. This is the gathers. So I'll fix the zip and show you guys. Then after fixing the zip, I'm going to be folding this rough edges or just pipe it in neatly then i'll iron it okay guys we are done this is the hot outlook of the style it's that simple and very sexy you can wear it to the beach you can wear it for a girl's night out just a casual out think i wear it to the park wait for picnic like it's so cool like so cool so give this video a try out don't forget to like share comment and also subscribe to this channel so don't let this be your last guys visit like share and subscribe okay see you on my next video yay bye